Good morning guys and welcome back. So today we're adding a light bar bracket to the front of the Jeep Wrangler JK. Now this is going to be a perfect bracket if you guys are running a stock bumper. Now I was looking for one to run for my Mopar Jeepler bumper and I just couldn't find one. There was a few on eBay and Amazon and stuff like that but they were just... One, they're a bit too expensive for me. Now this uh, particular light bar bracket you can buy um, off eBay if you want. It is the Mopar bracket. I think they're about $155. You can find them on sale if you want. But I really like it because it's uh, very discreet. Um, if you guys want to say it like that. Um, it's not very big. It's not sticking out too far. Um, and I like how it sticks actually forward from the front grille. Now, as saying that, I actually had to go and find a stock uh, JK bumper like in the Australian ones. And I've got on at the moment to show you guys and it's ugly. So I've actually had to change the bumper over from the tree bumper to the stock JK bumper. God, it looks horrible. Oh, but funny enough, I'll show you something. And I think it looks really nice. I don't know if it's going to be 100% legal in Australia. Because um, by Australian law, you can't have a stubby bumper. It has to be going out to the uh, past the wheels or in line with where the fender sit. So I'll show you guys the... Uh, light bar bracket we've got so $155 brand new before we get started comment below where you guys are keeping your lights uh, What lights you guys are running where they are located because I think I'll add a few different lights somewhere else I'm not a big fan of too many lights. I like a nice Slim uh, useful lights and stuff like that uh, So let me know below what you guys are running and what light bar brackets you guys are running as well and also comment below see if you guys can get this right how much I actually, pa how much I actually paid for the replacement bumper uh, the stock JK one and it also came with the light bracket as well. So let's have a look. Alright, so what do you guys think about the stock bumper? It's probably the ugliest bench seat you can ever find. Like, look how far it sticks out. That is a 2018 Factory JK bumper of a Golden Eagle, I believe. Look at it. Look, it sticks 10 feet out. A lot of people call them the beach, uh, bench seat of bumpers. They're ugly. But the main reason I actually got this was for the light bar. And it will only fit with a stock bumper. I could probably cut holes in the old bumper. That's the old Mopar one. There, might have to cut holes. And I do want to run this one there and there but that might get in the way there just not sure but there's a thing if you guys have a stock jk bumper there's a thing you can actually do you can behind the ugly stock bumper that we've got here what you can do is remove it which is light it's just plastic and then you're left with the little steel Part that actually goes over the frame and you're left with this actually quite nice slimline kind of like stubby bar and i think it actually looks really nice what i've done is i've actually swapped the tow hook to the painted red from the old bumper over um, and it's just a nice stubby look but as i said it might run into issues with not protruding too far it doesn't come out far enough you might have to come out with in line with the wheels not 100 percent sure uh, we'll run this for a bit and see how we go. And always chuck that back on or cut the holes we might need in that one. But if you guys are running a stock JK bumper in Australia, you lucky Americans, you, your, you, your, your stock bumpers look so much better than ours, especially on the JLs and JKs. Like that's ugly. It is just like lightweight plastic. Might have to make like a workbench out of that or something. But the main point of this video is the light bar bracket itself. So what this actually does, um, you've got a plastic part here uh, that actually fits between the bumper um, and the grill. That comes down, so the guy's actually drilled um, really nice holes. He did a really good job in this. I think he might have got this from the dealership um, already put together. So what it is, it actually drops down and actually bolts to the chassis there. So it's actually a chassis mounted light bar bracket, which I thought was really nice. Um, it's a nice little touch, and then it just slots down, it's like a little sleeve, and actually slots down um, over it and just bolt it in from the side. 
Um, one of the main reasons I really like this light bar bracket is it actually comes up. A lot of them just come up and they're just kind of like flat or they're like a hoop cross. I really like how this comes up and actually bends, uh, curves forward and out towards the front of the jet. I think that looks nice and sleek, like a rally car sort of style, sort of style kind of thing. But it looks quite nice, nice and slim, and it's got three tabs on the top for different lights. You can either run light pods, um, bigger lights, uh, or a light bar, whatever you guys want. You alright? So he's going to be cleaning the windows with us, probably not with the yogurt, probably with the window cleaner. But it's got three mounts on top, so you can run a whole um, light bar, a light bar, like light pods, which I think might run. Um, also might keep one of them free to run a UHF, which I've got sitting here, that I take off the last one. Uh, but let me know what you guys think about this. The plastic part has to stay on there. Uh, it kind of just looks too empty without it. But it's got these like little wings on the sides that I might cut off. Um, but let me know what you guys think. So how much should I pay for the stock bumper? He knows, he knows exactly how much I paid. So for the stock bumper, with this bar, it's actually in really good condition, because um, you never see it behind the ugly stock bumper, and the light bar bracket itself. Now the bracket is retailing for about 155 of eBay, um, and more expensive from Extreme Terrain and other places I found, I think they can go up to about 189 or $200. So have you guys guessed, well, I can't actually see it because I'm recording this earlier, but have you guys commented $20? I paid 20, yes, he knows, he knows exactly how much I paid. So for the whole bumper, um, the little steel part here, everything, 20 bucks. Now the guy did have it up for a while, um, I set it up for 150, I was gonna get that, uh, but I wasn't 100% sure. Still didn't want to pay that much, and I just saw it keep going down, down, down and down. So I flicked him a message, and he had it up for 20 bucks, so I said, oh, I'll come around and pick it up today, mate. So 20 bucks for the light bar bracket, that's pretty much all I wanted. But I've also got this uh, little bar as well. And I really like the bar because uh, I want to have these like, little chibi things here. The crush cans, uh, whatever you guys want to call them. Um, and I think it looks a lot more sleek. Uh, brings it back in a little bit more as well. But I really like the textured finish of the light bar bracket. How it's got the three mounts on it and how slim it is as well. It doesn't uh, come up too high so you're still getting a nice airflow into your 7 slot grill. Um, but it's just nice not overly done, um, it just looks nice and sleek. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below, whether I should cut these little tabs off, paint this, I might wrap the line that to match that, or gloss black. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below, um, if you guys get 20 bucks. You guys are awesome, uh, let me know where you guys are keeping your lights and stuff like that as well. I'll leave a link to the light bar bracket uh, for the eBay one. Um, if you guys want to grab yourself one of those, um, I really like it. I think it looks great on the JK, um, especially if, if you're running a stock bumper. It's a great little upgrade for a stock bumper. Um, if you want it to look a little bit more aftermarket, but you don't actually want to go to a, a full steel bumper. A lot of people don't. I'm not a massive fan of big bulky bumpers. I like nice, um, cheap. I mean that Mopar one I bought over there was 50 bucks, uh, which is a great deal. And this one was 20 bucks, so. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. I think it looks really good. But I'll leave a link for that down in the description for the eBay one or the uh, Extreme ter Terrain one. Um, so you guys can check them out if you want to buy one. But utilize the Facebook Marketplace, guys. A place you guys can get yourself some great deal. Still be able to modify your Jeeps um, and make them exactly how you want, but you can do it on a budget. And I also feel like you're helping someone else out as well. They're getting rid of their old stuff. You're getting a bit more money in their pocket, which is always great. And it's coming up towards Christmas, so it's always nice to help someone else out so they've got a little bit more, more money for their family, that sort of stuff. And you get something nice in return as well. So that's pretty much it for today, guys. If you like this bumper, smash that like button as well. If you like this like bar bracket, smash that like button as well. Ah, uh, like button. Like bar, like the like button as well. Uh, and smash that subscribe button as well if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.